One of the most important things you can do as an intraday trader is respect time. And as a trader who took a long position on a clearing range breakout first thing this morning, and you know, it's so easy to maybe talk yourself into the fact that this thing's just going to go to the moon and, and head higher all day long. And we know that just isn't the case. And the times at which you want to reassess the market, they're very specific and they're repeating. So again and again, you want to think about what does say 930 mean? 930 means anything that happened in the preceding however many hours you were up, it's a whole new world now. Coming back at 130, again, it's a whole new world. Now there are times that I like to look at specifically, and there are some nuanced times inside of that, right? But 4 a.m. is after the Asian close. So I want to know what the market's mood is after that. 8.30 is going to be uh, dependent on uh, data, data releases. If there's not anything at 8.30, no problem. You move on to 9.30, which is going to be the Wall Street bell, which is the most significant time in terms of hitting the reset button or fresh eyes, however you want to view it. Whatever happened before that, once 9.30 rings, whole new day. Uh, 1.30, this is what we'll call, you know, the, I call it the 12.30, it's funny because it's central time. This is Neil's 12.30 central sort of bid tendency. And it's another time we come out of the lunchtime doldrums and we want to reassess what kind of mood the market's going to be for, for literally the second half of the day. But there are other nuanced times in here, right? I think when we talk about nuanced times, um, I think, you know, 10 o'clock, the end of the clearing. I'm not, I'm not looking at the market with fresh eyes, but that's when the, the clearing starts. I think 1030 is also important. That's when I think 1030 would probably be a very important time to kind of watch as a, as a more subtle fresh eye time, because at 1030, the clearing range psychology fades to the background. And now I'm looking at the underlying market trend. Okay, if I look for another subtle time uh, for the last half of the day, uh, 3 p.m., you know, as we, as we go into the final hour of the day, a lot of ballyhoo about that. Again, the market might have a very different opinion as far as profit taking, putting in um, their positions, again, the last hour of the day. So there are some nuanced times within that, but every time we hit one of these fresh eye times, literally just for a minute, just say, let me reevaluate. Let, let me not carry the opinion of the preceding segment of time, however many hours that was. Let me not keep that opinion going forward. Let me reevaluate. And this is going to be mostly, I mean, this, these times are obviously mostly, if not really only the S and P, the NASDAQ, the Dow, the Russell. Okay. You can even throw the Nikkei in there, but the Nikkei is more of a, you know, Asian session, that geography, that part, that financial center. So it's going to be mostly this ES, NQ, YM, and Russell, which, which quite frankly are some of the most popularly traded futures contracts, but people underestimate time, especially when they're looking at 60 minute time frames or less. If you're looking at a 60 minute time frame or less, time is as important as time frame, right? Absolutely. So think about this and notice today, if I didn't readjust, you know, if I kept thinking, all right, the clearing is up, we're going to buy, buy, buy all day. No way. I shut it down around 1130. I'm interested in trades between 1130 and 130. That's where I go take care of, you know, personal matters, whatever, right? Take a break. So this kind of like this stop, hard stop here, really around 1140, 1130. I can come back after 130. That's when I take a look at the market with fresh eyes. All right. And then we look at the last hour of the day. So if I didn't reassess at every one of these points, I would still be carrying my desire to get long and relive that glory, even though it seems the market is very clearly. And of course the grab candles, and the wave and the propulsion dots is the easiest thing to trading by the numbers, paint by numbers as there is. This is where you see 
all right, I've got to reassess. Hit the, hit the reset button. 130, what are you showing me? Right? I've got a downtrend. Maybe not a perfect one, but I've got a downtrend. Then when I go into 3 o'clock, it's going to be that same thing. Right? I'll reassess. Are we going into chop for the last hour of the day? Is this market holding the resistance of the downtrend on the five minute? And whatever time frame you're looking at, if it's 60 minutes or less, you want to run it through this process. 